going on? What are you saying guys? Uh, it's Jordy here, welcome to another one. Um, today I'm going to Cobham Services. There's a car meet there starting at 11 o'clock, so I'm going to go meet Charlie at a Burger King in Runnymede. Then we're going to go to Cobham Services. Hopefully have a good time. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope you enjoy. Let's go get there and see what happens today. Oi, 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 oi. Now in the last video, I said that this is going to be the last time they see the car like this. Yeah. It's actually today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, literally today, as we're filming this, Charlie's going to be dropping the S14 off at the body shop and things are going to be changing. It's going to look different. It's going to look sick. Neither of us can wait to see the outcome, but we're both very excited. Right, the S15 has a problem. Uh, I just pressed the brake pedal and the car shut off and the battery like needed jump starting to get it on again and it's done it four times now. We've checked the fuses, it seems to be alright. That battery terminal seems to be a little bit loose. As in not the cable, that's tightened, but the entire terminal moves. That's weird. I might just have to get it recovered home. I managed to drive. Unfortunately, that car park only has an hour of free parking, otherwise you can get your cars wheel clamped. So, I drove out, got the car here, but every time I needed to slow down, I was just like, uh, carefully pulling the handbrake up. So I've managed to like get it to the side of the road. I'm safe here, even though it's a double yellow. And I've called the RAC, they're gonna be here in about 90 minutes time. So that's fucking ages. Uh, I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> So hopefully it's nothing too big. I don't know what to do in terms of getting it towed though. I don't know if I should just get it home. I don't know if I should take it straight to Garage D and then just like call my mum and have her pick me up from there or something. I really don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna wait until the RSC people get here and then just go from there. been updating the stories I should update the vlog as well RAC guys here really nice guy he actually got the car started without using the battery pack and it also shows that it's given charge so we reckon it could just be a bad terminal sorry mate do you know what I took out roadside assistance three days ago just three days ago <laughs> I'm so happy I did uh, the car's running again turns out well, according to the RAC man, lovely guy by the way, fucking lovely guy. It was just a bad terminal, which is funny because me and Charlie bodged that terminal. She's fixed, boys. She's fucking fixed it. Thank you. What a lovely guy, man. Proper health. Well, he's even... He told me, take up, take up the road, come back down, make sure everything's good, then I'll go. He's even stayed there to make sure I'm okay. What a guy. Right, we are back in business, boys. Freaking battery terminal that me and Charlie bodged. <laughs> right, yeah, happy days. We're all good. Let's go to Cobham Services, I guess. Oi, oi. <laughs> Oh, I've not broken my key now, have I? Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hang about. <laughs> Alright, sick. Key's fixed, car's fixed. Everyone's here, happy days. Hello. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> One breakdown later. Yeah, it was literally just a battery terminal that needed replacing because it was fucked. Me and Charlie bodged it about a month ago. So... <laughs> London here and Adam. Oh, hello. So we've made it to Cobham <laughs> Services. Loads of people here. Apparently, there's more, there's less people here than there were at one point. Sick turnout, to be fair. Spunky London. Oh, that turbo looks even bigger in person. What the fuck? <laughs> That's huge. 
This is how he gets his really good audio. He's got the wire coming out from there. That connects to his camera. Yeah. Runs down the side of his car right to the top of his exhaust. Yeah. That's why it's so loud on camera now. I want to try that dog box, mate. It looks fucking savage. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, the way it clunks into gear is like so hard. <laughs> Right, quick walk around of what's here, boys. Because I've spent the last 10 minutes creaming over Monkey London's R32. Chaser looks pang. S15 looks pang. Whoever owns this, please sell me your spoiler, please. <laughs> that looks like a. Oh. Oh, shit. Look at those. That clearance, though. Oh, Meisters, fucking hell. Ow. Ow. That hurts. That sounds really good. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> They probably put like the value of my car into this. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> oh, mate, whoever's built this, it's sick. I really like that. That's so good. Ooh, cool diffuser. This looks really nice. If you see this, nice car, mate. That's really nice. Hurricane Perth Man A. You've seen the length of it though. The length of it, oh my God. Oh shit, look at <laughs> The front of that, it's like the same place as the front of this Lambo. <laughs> it literally, literally doesn't fit in that space. That is ridiculous. Blue GT3, lovely looking E36. And it's the coupe, that's the one to have. M2 with a wing, M4 with a wing. Bit of Long Beach blue. We've got M4, C63. Cool color on that. Apparently that's the guy's mum or something. <laughs> this is one of two single turbo M4s in the country. The other one is M4 Joker who has a purple one. Someone's over there spotting the S. 14 and 15. God, they look so good together though. I'll let these guys finish taking pictures first. Right, wheels are turned. Let's see how that looks. Thank you, mate. Got Monkey London. Thank you. This has their own corner, really, isn't it? <laughs> so many of them. Friends are going to um, Ockham Vibes, but I'm gonna get no miss. I've really had enough madness today, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. Thankfully for me, the problem with the car wasn't a big one, it's sorted, the car's fine. Hopefully I won't be making any more breakdown videos and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out. <laughs>